Hey guys, welcome to my channel, A Confused Audio File. And today I'm going to show you a 21 year old audio file CD player. This is Arkham Alpha 7SE, an audio file Hall of Fame CD player. So, why is this one Hall of Fame CD player? Well, in 1996, when first of all um, Arkham has came up with their 7 series, the first one was Arkham Alpha 7, and that won the best 24 CD players of lifetime award by What Hi Fi. Three years later, Arkham has released their upgraded version with optical output and better sonic as 7SE and once again it won the best hi-fi of 1990s award by what hi-fi so Arkham released in July 1999 Arkham Alpha 7SE at 350 pound and according to what hi-fi and some other internet sources this player was competing against the double the price point of some of the CD player. So I was quite curious about how does this sound in 2020? How does this stack away against those um, digital platforms like Spotify and Apple Music and some others? And also with few other Blu-ray player and DVD player, how does this stand for its reputation of Hall of Fame? So let's find out that. Stay tuned. So Arkham actually stands for Amplification Recordings Cambridge. It's a British manufacturer and it's a very well respected name in audio industry. Well, a couple of years back when they released their uh, CDS50, Arkham CDS50, I was watching um, the director of sales interview. What he said, no matter this one has an SACD player and um, a network streamer, I personally prefer to put the CD and the CD hasn't gone anywhere yet and it's still gonna stay with us for a longer period of time regardless there are digital revolution you can play music on the streaming platforms on your phone and on your laptop and everywhere but still CDs are there because I think it's been told so many times that CD always wins for the sound quality. It has a very superior sound quality. And this interview, what I've heard from Scott was really touching thing. What he said, you know, when we buy the CD, we come home, we put the CD into the tray, press the play button, throw the phone away, leave everything out. You don't want to get distracted by emails or phone calls. And you know when you get the CD, you look at the CD or looking at the album art, so how beautiful they are. And you got sometimes the lyrics, you check in all those things. And I thought Scott Campbell is right. Regardless, there are digital platforms, people still prefer to listen their music over CDs or vinyl. So now let's jump on to a technical specification. Okay guys, so here let me show you this is Arkham logo, CD tray, CD tray load button, display. This is a fluorescent display which you can turn it off by this with this key, display key. And usual play, pause and stop button and fast forward and next track, previous track, uh, memory and repeat buttons. Okay, here is the back panel of this, the power input, optical output, coaxial output, and RCA output. Very simple. 7SE has Delta Sigma digital to analog conversion with 24-bit filtering. Weight at 3.6 kg. As you can see these guys, I have connected with this optical cable to my focal arch in optical input and also the RCA analog so now let's move on to the main part sound quality 
to achieve that, I have played few albums I'll share with you. This is Dusty in Memphis by Dusty Springfield. AGOE, Japanese conductor. This is Malar, Gustav Malars. This is from Reference Recording. It's a very well recorded CD. Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. Dave Brubeck's Quartet, Time Out. And some debut album by some female vocalists like Natalie Embrilia, Vanessa Carlton, British Birdie, Bjork. This is again really an audiophile CD. And a country and folk singer, Lizzie, her debut album, Catching the Tiger. It has few really good tracks. The first track, Record Collector, it starts really nicely. I'm having this for ages and I'm listening on these digital platforms, but I've heard this one with RKM7 SE. I was like, wow, this is the best way to make the debut. So I appreciate the artist work. And let me tell you one more thing. This one, uh, it's with the Minnesota Philharmonic Orchestra. The Japanese conductor has moved into um, America. This is 24-bit recording, but this one has a limitation to play at 16-bit only. But still, it has a pack of punch. And the classical music and uh, in some of those albums like uh, indie album or alternative music for this one or this is Broken Bells by Broken Bell and this is Circa Survive. This is the album Emulate. You know when that's so much going on in a music and it's really hard to listen all those details. This one is a really good source to help these two to get all those details and those details will surprise you that Oh, I've missed all those details in some other players or my digital source and also some of those DVD and Blu-ray players. But then I thought one more thing. The immense amount of detail I was getting from uh, SE to Arch and Utopia. Then I thought, is it because of Utopia is a, deep, is a king of detail retrieval? Is that the reason? So what I did, I changed my this setting of... Uh, Arch and Focal, which is 6,200 pound to 10 times less. So I've gone to Chord Mojo, connected with the optical, and I've used my Grado SR225E. Even if it's this setting, it gives immense amount of clarity into my recording. And all those albums, I mean, this one I've heard for so many years, REM. But then again, I was feeling that even like this, Circa Survive, I was feeling I was revisiting this album. Let me just break this down in a key feature of sound. What have I heard, which I did not hear before. So it has a great sonic presentation. It's authoritative, refined, and packed with good dose of dynamics. Arkham Alpha 7 SE uncovers an impressive amount of detail and organizes very well and it delivers a wonderfully entertaining and engaging sound. The sound has good amount of weight which helps some tracks sounds big and substantial. The sound stage is wider and well defined. Very precise and finest imaging. Well defined it means really best for sharp focus on individual instruments. Exceptional tonal balance. What you hear is purity of sound. What you hear is loads of detail in your recording. One of the best source that can separate instruments better in the finest way. Refinement in treble, it's very detailed in a top end. Clear, sharp, enjoyable and bigger mid-range with good separation and better dynamics. Bass is tight, punchy and clean. Also 
well defined. Microdynamics and fine details are much apparent. Little fine textures and little fine decays are easily noticeable. So in conclusion, all I can say that this 21 year old machine which was branded as Hall of Fame CD player and I think this one carries their weight of being Hall of Fame. Obviously, it does outperforms not only the digital platform but I've heard some Blu-ray players some SSCD players, Blu-ray together. It, this one only plays the CD and HD CD at 16 bit. But it still outperforms most Blu-ray players at the moment in the market and DVD players. So yes, I can say that Arkham Alpha 7 SE made me curious to listen that 32 bit SACD network streaming player from Arkham CDS50. Obviously, I do want to listen that as soon as I can. Some of the shops are still closed. Once they open, I will do that. And now some of the shops, they are doing the appointment system. So yeah, whenever I can get, I will tell you how that sound as well. And guys, whoever, I mean, if you are watching and if you have 7SE or 7, please comment below and let me know and share your thoughts with me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Enjoy your music. A disclaimer guys, I am not getting paid by any of this company to do this video. This is purely based on my thoughts and it's unbiased review. The only reason to make this review is to let you know how this old vintage stuff sounds in 2020 and also when I purchased this, the seller has texted me and he asked me that he is quite curious how the Arkham Alpha 7 SE sound with Focal Utopia and Arch Combo. So yeah, that is another thing I just made to let him know. And then I thought, why not to share this whole experience with you guys as well. So thank you for listening.